Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little different setup. Today I will be filming my everyday makeup collection. I usually go into when I'm doing my makeup. I will be doing my full makeup collection. A lot of you guys have been asking. Don't think I don't see it. Of course I will be doing one. I'm actually thinking of doing it once I reach 2000. I think that would be a cool video to watch. If you guys do want to see my makeup collection, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. We'll definitely be filming that soon. Hopefully I reach 2000 soon. I can't believe I'm almost halfway there. So thank you guys so much once again. Hopefully you guys are able to see it. I don't know if it's a good position, but I will show you guys each by each what's in my drawers and stuff like that. So I did buy this from Amazon. They are detachable, so you can put it however you want. I'll show you guys right now. On the top of it, I do keep this Fenty Beauty bag with basically palettes that don't fit in here or would take up too much space. I just have them in here. I will go into detail right now of what's in there. Yeah, on the top of here, I just keep my Tarte Lash what is it? Lash curler and then this oil sleek coconut oil from Pink. As you guys can tell, I am almost out of it. Like I said, these are detachable. They do come off and you guys can, you know, fix it however you guys want it. I'll leave the link down below. So I like the way that it has different compacts and they are really easy to come out and in. Okay, so enough about the clear drawer. Let's go inside and see what I have. Move it a little bit just so you guys can see it. This is the first big drawer on the top. It is really big. I don't know if on camera it shows like how much products it actually holds, but as you can you guys can see it holds a lot this is basically my base like foundations primers concealers all of that stuff are in here but i basically on the back here i have this kiehl's glow formula skin hydrator this greek yogurt under eye wing moisturizer morphe eyelid primer just like small little primers that i want to use up okay so i decided to put down the camera so i can show you guys a little bit better heart smoothing primer i also do have the bobby brown one which is really good i have mac soft ochre just to basically have a good base for my shadows and then the elf putty primer this one is one of my favorites as you guys can tell this is like one of my favorite primers and then i also do have the benefit professional i'm almost out of this one but this one is really good if you have big pores like i do i also do have the laura mercier foundation primer i did get this at i believe tj maxx for like 14 dollars and then i do have this nars velvet matte tint i also did get this at tj maxx to be honest i don't know how i feel about it that's why it's in here because i want to use it up one of my favorite foundations it's the becca ultimate coverage foundation that one's a must in here this one's also a really good one that they sell at marshall's and at tj maxx it's the bare minerals bare pro performance wear liquid foundation mine's in aspen but i do really enjoy this foundation it's actually pretty new to my collection i actually hauled this i believe like the last video that i filmed la girl pro coverage hd foundation i wore this once already and actually really like it another favorite one of mine this one's a real full coverage it's the huda beauty what is this called faux filter foundation i believe this one's really good i actually really like this one the only problem is their their colors are a little off like one's either too light the second one is like way too dark as you guys can see it's way much darker than my color i have to mix it with other ones but nonetheless it's a really good foundation i just wish it had more natural colors i feel like the shade range is really off but I really still do enjoy it. The next one I have here is this NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. So basically it has a sponge on one side and a foundation on this side. To be honest, I have this one so I can use it up. I don't really like, it's not something that I like reach for. That's why I have this in here because I want to use it up before it goes back. And then as you guys can see, I do keep my concealers and any kind of like foundation sticks on this side. I do have two foundation sticks. I have the Anastasio one and I also have the Bobbi Brown. I do keep this one brush in here just because I just get lost where i keep my brushes because it is a smaller brush i do have some of the elf camel concealer one of my favorites a good dupe to the tart shape which i also do have in here both really good i just kind of reach more actually for the elf hydrating one and then i do have trees liquid camouflage also really good this one is a born this way natural concealer this one is all right I, I don't think this one's the same as the new one that they came out with which is kind of like the thicker packaging i think this one's a little too natural for my liking and so is this one which is a naked skin it doesn't really cover any Thing, so i do use these for my lids so that is basically what i keep in this drawer i usually keep it as neat as i can before i forget i'm gonna go back to this because if not i'm gonna forget and i won't show you guys so basically in here i just keep some palettes some face palettes some eyeshadow palettes so i keep this physician's formula butter collection and this is how it looks like it's a really pretty palette and this one is with Whaley hang i believe that's her name she's another youtuber she's like an og youtuber i used to watch her but this one is really nice i love this 
blush right here which is called wildflower i also do have this benefit cheek star palette looks like this another good oh sorry i'm blinding you guys but this is how it looks like i have this beauty creations eye bloom it's a really pretty shade nothing crazy as you guys can tell i love myself natural this one is the bh cosmetics palette sorry again i'm blinding you guys that's how it looks like my sister actually gave me this but i believe she got this at tj maxx it's a really nice palette i also do have the balm in the balm of your hands and another good everyday palette most of these like i said are everyday palettes that i keep in here it's a Too faced gingerbread extra spicy as you guys can see there is like kind of like a a range of shades that they all look the same they're very natural everyday wear shadows and then this one's pretty new to my collection it's the Lorac pro i actually featured this in one of my hauls as well i'll leave it down below and then i also do have this hyper glow palette this one's one of my oh that is so nasty i am so sorry guys <laughs> This one's one of my favorite palettes, as you guys can see. You guys just saw one of my lashes in there. But um, this one's such a beautiful palette. I've actually seen a lot of makeup artists use this on clients. So I know why, because it's such a beautiful range of shades of highlighters. And this one is called the Hyper Real Glow. And they actually are selling this full price at MAC. But they do sometimes have it here and there at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So definitely would pick this up if you guys see it there. Okay, now let's go back to the drawers. I'm going to go now to the second drawer down below. And this one is all of my blushes and bronzers whether that be cream or powder they're in here these are the ones that i'm currently using or that i want to try out so basically on this side i try to keep my blushes and on that side i keep my bronzers so i'm gonna go in first with the blush side on the top here i have this cover effect this one is in warm honey it's a really beautiful kind of like fall winter blush duo really love this one and then i do have this auto bomb girl power from the bomb another good one it has like bronzers and blushes but i tend to use the blushes and this one highlighter right here that kind of goes as a blush topper for me and then i do have this bh vanilla cream truffle another really good inexpensive blush little quad it's so good and it even smells good so definitely like this one and would recommend on the corner right here i keep three of these essence blushes i have bespoke blooming one of my favorite one which is sad in love it's such a natural beautiful shade I definitely recommend this one as well and then i do have a two becca blushes i did get these at tj maxx at one point they had so many of these i'm not sure if they're gonna bring them back but i do have a tiger lily which is a little bit more on the crazier side it's not a color that i would oh did i really just yep yeah, i just dig my nail in there like always but it's this really beautiful color it's just a little bit out of my comfort zone but it is really pretty that's why i have it in here because i want to use it more and then i also do have one of my favorite ones which is wild honey another a good one like for an everyday shade let me swatch this one for you while i'm at it it's a really natural shade i don't know if you guys can even catch it but love it i love that it's matte and then i do have two mac blushes here on the corner I have warm soul and sweet enough warm soul is actually pretty new to my collection mac had like a, a blush sale it was like only ten dollars or less so i wanted to pick this one up if i can open it there you go but it's a really pretty color as you guys can see and then i do have a two of these elf what are these called bite size i think blushes and highlighter duos these are actually pretty new again i haul these in my I believe in the last video that i made and i have cantaloupe and leech i think that's how I you like say it bottom one better i feel like it's really nice this one kind of looks a little bit chalky but i am trying to use these more so that's why they're in here they are pretty new right here here I have two milk products. I have a blush. This one is in Perk. It's a really oh, what is this? Sorry, it's from doing my makeup today. But this one is in Perk. It's a really nice cream color. It looks very like overwhelming in the packaging, but it's a really pretty shade. And then I also do have Blaze from Milk. I did get this at TJ Maxx. I did haul it once again. I'm pretty sure I hauled like half of the stuff that I'm showing you guys before. But I want to show you guys what's in my everyday collection. But they do have the bake one, which I want to get from TJ Maxx, but I just haven't found it yet. Even if it's so dark it still works well with my skin sorry if my hands look super red i don't know sometimes my hand get extra red i think it's because i'm super pale so don't mind my red hands <laughs> and then i have this master contour from maybelline this one's really nice it's a kind of like when you're in a rush i like this because it's really easy one side has bronzer and kind of like the highlighter it's really nice this one's in 010 and then i have this hula quickie contour stick i actually have not used this yet but that's why that's in here because i do want to use it so i have that there and then i have this kevin aquan 
Swan, the Celestial Powder, but I use it as a bronzer. It is kind of like a shimmery shade, but it's still really pretty. As you guys can see right there, it's a really pretty shade. Next thing I have here is this NARS Sino. This one's really nice. It's very natural. Even when you do that, like it barely comes out as to like the actual NARS one. A lot of people don't like this for that reason, which I totally understand because it doesn't have a lot of pigment. And I think that's why they were at TJ Maxx at one point. The next thing I got here is this Kat Von D blush on blush. And this one is a blush and a highlighter duo. I really love this blush. It's a really pretty color. It is super pigmented, but once you blend it out, it's really nice. And that is in Nova. The next thing I have here is this Laura Geller blush trio. This one is called the Shades of Mauve. I actually think I showed this in a haul. I haven't used it to be honest. That's why it's in here because I do want it out and see if I do like it. So that's why that's in here. The next one is also another favorite one of mine. This one's from Becca and it's called Bally Sands. It is a really nice a natural color. Really pretty and even the way it's made in there is super pretty. So love this one. I got this one at TJ Maxx as well. And then another favorite one. This one's like an ultimate drugstore staple. It's the Elf Sunkissed or Forever Sunkissed Bronzer. Especially if you have like light to medium skin tones. Super pretty. It doesn't look muddy. It's super nice. And as you guys can see, I'm almost hitting pan, which is kind of like a miracle for me. So that's how you know I really like this bronzer. Another really, you know, one of my stable pieces when I'm doing like a full on makeup. It's the Huda Beauty, what is this called? Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. I have mine in fair. This one is another good cream a bronzer. Love this one. Definitely recommend that one. And then this one's actually pretty new to my collection. It's this Butter London True to Form a Bronzer. How that looks like, it's pretty natural. It has a highlighter and two bronzers, a dark one and a lighter one. I haven't really played with this one, but that's what again why this is here. As you guys can see, it glides on really easily. Another thing that you can do if you have drawers that are kind of like hard to come out, and it's not because you have so much stuff in it, but rather because plastic is kind of just rough. I would say put some oil on the corners of this here. I put hair oil and it works perfectly. I've done it for years. Nothing has happened to my drawers. Each just only that's only if you want to do it. But that's what I do for it to be really easily to glide in and glide out. So the next one down, this one again is a piece by itself on this drawer right here i keep all of my setting powders and kind of any type of powder loose powder or compact powders in here i hope these are good angles i keep like moving it back and forth between each drawer so i'm sorry guys if one of the angles is a little off but the first one here i have here is the laura mercier powder this one is the translucent one again this one is a staple one is it my favorite my old-time favorite not really there's better ones drugstore ones even but i still have it in here just because i am trying to use it up the next one i have here is this elf halo glow powder this one's actually pretty new to my collection but i really like this one better than the laura mercier it gives like a nice radiant effect nothing like like shimmery or crazy but i do like the way it makes my makeup set the next one i have here is another good one that i've told you guys before it's the mark jacob finish line in 34 invisible really love it and i love that it has a net inside a lot of them don't have nets so it gets really messy even messier than this but i really like that it has a net so it kind of makes it a little bit more clean even though as you guys can see it still gets dirty setting powders are super dirty the next thing i have here is this really mini siate extraordinary powder I actually really like this one it makes makeup look kind of like a baby doll face i really like this one i use it for like special occasion next one here is actually a favorite one of mine that i got from marshall's i didn't think i was gonna like it that much but i actually do there's like mixed reviews on this powder but i for me personally i like it and this one is in the translucent one from anastasia at this point if you guys follow me you guys know this is one of my favorite powders sorry if it's blinding you but this one is super good i love this one this one's actually out already i need to replace it i don't know why i still have this in here but this one is in p1 this one is a makeup Revolution can and define. This one is like my favorite Full coverage foundation. It kind of reminds me of this one, the MAC Studio Fix, but even a little bit more pigmentation. I really like this one, and it's literally even for sure half the price, more than half the price of the MAC one. This one is also good. I'm just trying to use it up because I don't. I found a new one, so this is how this one looks. This one's beat up, and this one is in the shade NW18, and this one is from MAC. Sorry, it gets super dirty in here because of all the loose setting powders, but this one is the MAC Light Mineralized Skin finish and this one is super natural i love this one i really like this one more than the mac video fix now then i have this nars what is this called this one is the nars soft velvet pressed powder in flesh and i actually have not used this yet but i have this here for that reason so i can use it but that's how that looks like this one is the maybelline fit me and this one is in air 05 I really like this one i'm pretty sure you guys have heard this one is a good drugstore alternative if you guys like the laura mercier and then back here i have this makeup forever matte velvet skin in 
R210. This one was really raved about of being like really full coverage and stuff, but I just haven't found myself going into it that much. I use the Makeup Evolution one better. And then I have this Tarte Smooth Operator. This one's actually another good one. It's not that hyped as the other ones, and I think this one's better because it's so finely milled that it makes skin look kind of like a velvet touch. Okay, so the next one here is my skincare product. You guys are gonna see a little glimpse of my skincare routine. Basically, these are some of the items that I use. I have the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. I've shown you guys this in like I think my everyday makeup. I really enjoy this one. This is like one of my holy grail products. You guys can even see the reviews. Like it's no joke. This stuff is really good. I saw my skin clear up a lot with this. It's the Polish Choice Exfoliate 2A percent BH liquid exfoliant. Highly recommend that. Another good product is the Thayer's Blemishing Clearing Balm with Witch Hazel Mines and Lemon. This one's really good. I got this at Target and I love this, especially when I have an outbreak of acne. The next thing I have here, sorry for all the bitten things. When it came in the mail, my dog tried to get into it, so... Sorry if that looks gross, but the April Skin Real Carrot Serum. This one's basically supposed to help with acne. I've used a lot of it, as you guys can see, I'm basically out of it. You know, an ultimate favorite, the Mario Bezescu Facial Spray. This one is the Rose Water. I just keep a small one in here just because the big one won't fit in here. I also have a Smith Rosebud Self. Love this to put on my lips, especially during the night. And then this one's actually pretty new. It's a Sika Pear Tiger Grass color correcting treatment. I have an aloe vera 100% gel. I really like this one. I actually just found out that they had a small one so that's why I bought this one because it fits better in here than the big one. So I really like this just to kind of cool down my skin. I have the Drivectin neck cream just to basically help you from getting wrinkles on your neck. And then I have this Earth Harbor Superfoods Luminance Oil. I use this at night. Really like it. Kind of soothes down my redness. This one's actually really good. Sunscreen. I got this at Marshall's I believe. It was only like three dollars or four this one is the hydro boost water gel lotion it has spf 30 i have another april skin a real calendula deep moisture essence love this one for the night as well as you guys can see i've gone through it a lot and then i have this keels or not keels sorry this jack black lip balm with spf 25 aquaphor i usually keep the big one on my drawer in my actual vanity but a small one goes in there as well when is something i want to use that's why it's in here it's the first aid ultra repair cream and then i just have this sun riley lotion that I want to use so that's in there to try out as well so the next one down is kind of like just little kind of like the random drawer that has lash glue lip balm this one's from Mario Badescu a duo glue there's a bite beauty gave lip mask random like thing for my uh, my light and then I have hair clips I have the velour lash glue my favorite mascara which is the essence one a razor blade liner from Tarte liner from I don't even know where it doesn't have a name this one's actually another good drugstore mascara which is the falsies push up the mill push lash primer i've showed you guys this before i like this one as well i have a hand sanitizer in here some lash glue i have the pure one and the old one that i should probably get rid of this one is from i believe ardell the lash contour one and then i have some random mascaras i should probably throw this one out because i haven't used that one in a while and this one is the urban decay troublemaker and then i just have this lip scrub from aoa and then these i did i didn't mention before these four come together so oh, this one's a sec i already forgot where it was so this one i just keep eyeshadow palettes that i want to use i know i showed you guys that i keep the one on the top here but this one is just kind of smaller palettes that fit in this drawer first one right here i have this color pop going coconuts palette this one's just like an everyday palette really like this one my go-to shades in here that pink one in the middle just screams my name i have this Too faced hot buttercream rum from Too faced if i didn't say looks like that this NARS one, this one is the Nectar one, which is really pretty as you guys can see. And then I have a bomb, the Balm Smoke Balm. I haven't really used this, but that's why that's in here. I have two e.l.f. Bite Size shadows. Really like these. Again, these are really good everyday shadows and they're super inexpensive. I have Cream and Sugar, which is this one right here. And then I have Pumpkin Pie, which is more of like a fall darker brown shades. Sorry, the lighting is throwing it off. I also do have this NYX love lust disco foil play these are actually not that pigmented as i thought it was and then i have this tarlet flirt tart 
palette as you guys can see like they all look the same basically they have like that orange that brown and like that one shiny pink that i like to use these are pretty new to my collection but you guys know how i feel about these if you guys have watched my full face of using tj maxx that i just filmed not that long ago i highly recommend these if you guys see these at marshall's they're only like 2.99 or 3.99 these are little trios and they look like this as you guys can see they're super pretty and let me just like can you see how pretty that is and then i just have this little lorac pro warm neutral palette I, think I got this for free like in an Ulta gift so I like that as well so I just keep that there to use up and then I have this Too Faced chocolate chip matte eyeshadow which I love that it's all matte so I can use this as kind of like transition shades really like that one and then this one was like my ultimate favorite Naked Urban Decay Basics as you guys can see I like hit pat in these okay then the next one down is all of my highlighter slash setting powders it's gonna have the setting mist it's because I usually do my setting mist and my highlighters together so that's why that's in the same area so i do have two of them that i'm trying to use up i have the kvd locket makeup setting mist and i also have the makeup forever mix and fix and then i have this makeup forever professional light fusion in 01 it's a really pretty shade that's how this one looks like let me swatch it for you guys oh i didn't mean to to flip you guys off but <laughs> that's how that looks like it's a really pretty color i wish sometimes you guys can see how they actually look in person because sometimes camera they look a little bit different this one's actually one of my favorite ones it's the ofra madison miller in moon dance this one's a really beautiful inner corner i actually just use this for inner corner let me also swatch this one for you guys so you guys can see how like beaming that is it's so pretty and look at that so pretty and then this one is the essence pure nude highlighter in number 10 it be my highlight it's such a beautiful everyday shade love this one and then i do have two milk products i have lit highlighter and i also do have another milk one this one's a full size one in mars and then i have the laura geller gilded honey this one's kind of like a favorite you can say a lot of people like it um to be honest i don't really reach for it but that's why it's in here because i do want to reach for it more this one is one of my favorite highlighters of all time it's the tribe highlighter volume 3 by juvia's it's such a pretty shade like love it it kind of reminds me of mary luminizer i used to have mary luminizer in here but i ended up just having this one in here because i reach for this one more but it's such a pretty color love the way that looks love this one my favorite favorite top five highlighters for sure i can't even do a video of my favorite top highlighters because i do have a lot of highlighters after this i'll show you guys a glimpse of my highlighting drawer this one's actually pretty new in my collection but i really like how these perform these are from revolution by makeup revolution as you guys can see i got this at marshall's for 3.99 and this one is in the fresh perspective palette i just want to show you guys a glimpse of what's in my highlighter drawer i still need to fix it better but this is how it is looking as of right now definitely can't wait to show you guys my makeup collection okay now the final drawer that i have here is just more palettes so this one right here is actually a pretty new to my collection as well it's the mark jacobs um what is it called electric palette and it looks like this another good one it is a little powdery but they are really good it's the artist couture supreme nudes this is how that looks like this is such a beautiful palette it is kind of like a good everyday palette love this one i feel like if you were to get one from sephora this is like one of the top five that i would choose because it's such a pretty everyday palette it's actually pretty new to my collection i'm actually pretty new to hourglass i don't really have a lot of their product and i'm actually not that impressed by it i thought i was gonna really love it but i feel like there's better options like this one's a little bit overpriced um this is how this one looks like this just came out for the holiday collection and i was kind of disappointed they're not that pigmented which i know that's what hourglass is known for at least these types of palettes but i just wasn't I just wasn't wowed by the palettes to be honest nothing really crazy I wouldn't think I would spend that much money again for a palette like this and then I also did purchase this at the same time just because I did want it to try out their products this one is in the diffuse light auric fusion and luminous bronze light I believe I got this one at Nordstrom it was like a Nordstrom like exclusive to Nordstrom and then the last thing I have here is this physicians formula bronze booster this is how that looks like so again that's just an, another product that I'm trying to use up that's why that in there okay guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i love seeing these types of videos like the makeup collection some people have of course this was just like my everyday collection this is probably just like one percent of my makeup which is so bad but yes i will be filming in my full on makeup collection once i reach 2,000 followers i can't wait to do that for you guys i'm so excited thank you guys so much i hope you guys are staying safe during these times and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys